Hi guys, uh, good morning and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to the pre-market analysis. Today we will try to understand what is the market performance and all. And a few of the stocks having good news and few of the stocks having bad news. We will try to see all those things and uh, without any further delay, directly let us get into the market. Okay. So yesterday if you, give, if you see, if you look at the market, it has given 0.74% up and 175 points up. Right? So it was a kind of uh, starting it opened uh, flat uh, and then it went down, then it came up. So then the journey started and it crossed the 24,000 level also. That's a psychological level and we were expecting that it will reach. But from continuously from Monday session, it is Nifty is reaching high and high because of the large gap. Uh, uh, stocks are performing very well actually. So one or the another sectors are contributing for the Nifty uh, achievement. So the major contribution is from basically from a large cap guys. So if you look at the FIS and DIS activity, FIS bought 7000 crores net worth on July, I mean June 27th and the DIS are the net sellers. So the 3000 crores something they sold out. So if you look at the Dow Jones, uh, uh, yesterday it was a positive performance and if you look at the Nasdaq also it was a positive performance. If you look at the gift Nifty as of now it is uh, trading uh, positive, uh, there are expectations are there. Uh, one second, sorry. One second, so there are uh, expectation that uh, uh, if you look at, uh, I, I'll get back to the Gift Nifty. Uh, as of now, if you look at uh, the market performance from the June 4th, it has gained almost 8% rise. So the same uh, positive momentum is there in the market. So in the July, uh, today is the last uh, session for this June month. So from July, I think in the July series also, it may start gaining and it may it may reach to the some other level uh, from mm -hmm. the Nifty index point of view. So it is a good move, but as of now, the mid cap and small cap uh, are, are the pain point actually. They are not performing that much well and they are not contributing to the Nifty, uh, Nifty whatever the Nifty is moving up, up trend, right? So this is basically from the Reliance Industries and the HDFC Bank. It's a heavyweight stocks performance. They are performing well, so Nifty is going up price. So quickly, like you know, let us come back to the uh, stock radar for today. So uh, Reliance Geo, uh, in, in, I mean the Reliance Geo Info Communication announced a series of new unlimited plans set to take effect from July 3. So from July 3, like you know, they have uh, uh, announced the like you know unlimited plans. They have uh, changed, I mean they have upgraded the the Geo plans, whatever the plans that they, they had, right? So they have upgraded those uh, plans from they are effective from uh, July 3. So probably like you know 20% and 25% uh, plans they have upgraded. So then comes uh, Rail Vikas Nigam. The company has incorporated subsidiary company RVNL Middle East Contracting LLC in Dubai. So in Dubai they have uh, incorporated a subsidiary. Uh, so for that uh, the Rail Vikas Nigam will be in focus today. Please keep a uh, close eye on that. So RV, regarding RVNL every day one one news is coming up. So, but the stock is also performing well. So, as we are also discussing in the sessions as well. So, then comes the BHEL, Bharat Heavy uh, Electricals Limited. So, actually it has announced it's, uh, it is secured a contract worth of 13,000 crores to establish a 1,600 megawatt thermal power plant in uh, Koderma, Jharkhand. So, in Jharkhand to uh, establish a 1,600 megawatt thermal power plant, they secured an order of 13,000 crores guys. Uh, from this DBC company, uh, the Mother Valley Corporation. So then comes HCL Technologies. HCL Technologies uh, is likely to sell 0.46% of uh, stakes through the black deal. So this is not an official confirmation. This is through reports. Uh, so for this also keep a close eye on this. So then comes KPA Green Energy. The company has received a sanction letter uh, for crediting the facility amounting of uh, 686 crores for the development of 200 mega uh, uh, MWAC or uh, this is a technical term uh, I need to check on that we'll check and get back to you but for now this is uh, uh, as uh, uh, received a sanction letter for 686 crores guys for solar photovoltaic power project in Kovoda Gujarat so then comes JSW energy for JSW energy there are uh, two uh, news one is uh, JSW, JSW Port Logistics has agreed to acquire 70.37% uh, stake holding held by the promoters and the promoter group in the Navcar Corporation. Meanwhile, the company has received a letter of acceptance from 
Southern Railway, Chennai Division for the construction and operation of the Gati Shakti Multi Model Cargo Thermal uh, Cargo Terminal at Arakoman uh, Arakoman Tamil Nadu. Then, so then comes RBL Bank. The bank has received the approval from the pro board members for raising the funds up to 3500 crores via qualified institution guys so these are the updates as of now so you keep a close eye on this uh, stocks how it is going to perform and all so in the evening session we will try to review the same okay so that's all for today guys uh, thank you thank you uh, so much for watching thank you so much for listening to me if you find my content uh, uh, interesting and valuable please like comment and share and subscribe guys thank you thank you so very much